to all the ladies in the space with style and grace allow me to lace these lyrical dishes that i can't say that on camera <laughs> What you guys think about my Biggie impression? Does it need a little bit of work? <laughs> See, look, when people listen to me sing, they're like, man, who in the world produced that? Like, nobody's gonna give me a record deal because they already know I am not a musician, I am not a singer. But I like the way I feel it's How many of you guys have listened to a song where you ask that question, like, who produced this? Like, what in the world is this? Contrasted with the classics, all the Motown hits, all the hip hop hits. Does country make classics? Yeah, Johnny Cash. The Ring of Fire, the Ring of Fire. Is that the, is that the way it goes? <laughs> You see, that's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like there's music that you know and love and you ask yourself the question of like, who produced this track? Because this is dope, it's an all time classic. And so this is the seesaw battle of life, the beautiful art, the art that we know and love, the art that has become classic in our minds, the tunes that we sing over and over again, no matter how much time has spanned. And then there's that other stuff, that stuff that is so forgettable. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna steal your pants. Is that the way it goes? No? I think that was an improvement. Never gonna steal your pants. Cause you shouldn't steal anybody's pants, let's be honest with it. That's how bad it is, I, I just forget it. That's what we have at stake. People who produce things that are beautiful and lovely and majestic and people that produce stuff that are just like, what are you doing with your life, man? But how many of you guys have looked at the world and asked yourself the same question, who produced this. Have you ever turned on a TV station and you hear a story that makes you ask the same question? Who produced that? Maybe it's a story of, of somebody who, once again, they want to take a gun and open fire at a school or at a concert in Las Vegas. Or maybe it's another story of a political figure or a celebrity who uses their power to prey on women. Or maybe it's another story of racism that rears its ugly head. And we think about Charlottesville, Virginia and the mobs of men who decided to go over there and let us know the KKK is alive and well. What's fascinating to me is each and every one of these stories, these horrific portions of human existence are stories of men who are producing something that we're all experiencing. And then there's other types of men who are actually producing a beautiful world, a world full of kindness and joy. And actually there's a story about a man, his name was Antoine Lurie. He lost his wife on the Paris attacks and what he decided to do was create this little poignant video where he pops onto the internet and says, he speaks to the terrorists. He says, you took my wife. You took one of the most important people in my life from me. But I'm gonna tell you something. As I raise my, our 15 month old baby, I will not raise our child with hate and with anger and with revenge in his heart. I'll raise our little boy with love, with joy, with forgiveness and in freedom. I ask myself as I look at this guy, right? I'm like, who produced this? How, how do you become the type of man who stands in the face of hate and responds with love, responds with forgiveness? There's these two types of guys in the world that it's easy for us to look at and hate one and then love the other. But then there's this portion in the middle who sit and spectate, watch as things burn down and other people run into the building to the rescue. Those are the guys that I wanna to talk to. I wanna to talk to all the guys who say that you're good guys, but you're not in the game yet. What is it gonna take for you to jump in? What if we can't call ourselves good guys if we sit by and do nothing? There's no way to be good and do nothing. There's no way to be good and be silent. There's no way to be good and not have your heart broken by the state of the world. So I'm calling all good guys, all the people who are okay with just making a living, paying their bills, watching TV, and living life. We need you. This world needs you. Your brothers and sisters need you. Your children need you. Your friends need you. What are you gonna produce? Are you gonna produce more division? Are you gonna produce more racism, sexism, xenophobia, and tribalism? Or are you gonna produce something different? Compassion, empathy. Are you gonna actually do something? You see, we're all producing something. In the same way that I started us off by saying, there's this music that's beautiful and that I can recite and it still is in my heart. We can produce that type of music with our life. Or we can produce a type of life that we're ashamed of. Or we can produce nothing at all. See, it's easy to complain about the bad music and it's easy to appreciate the great music. What's difficult is to jump in and do something. What will you produce?